Round three of the Mintex British Historic Rally Championship ventured out of Wales for the first time this season with a trip north to the Pirelli Carlisle Rally and the legendary Killer Kilda awaited the crews. And it wouldn't take long for that reputation to come true with previous rounds winner Jason Pritchard getting caught out and his rally ending in a stage one ditch. So that left Nick Elliott to take the lead, his starting problems hopefully sorted now and stage one will provide an early 18 seconds advantage for the pair. Joe Price comes to the round looking for a podium. He would be happy with third, but for now he was going one better and lying in second overall. And following the bad luck at the start of round one, it would be the final step on the podium for Paul Barrett after stage one. No punches this time round and less than a second off the time set by Price. In category two, it would be the lead once again for Stanley Orr, a good cushion of time setting him up for the rest of the day's stages. His closest rival would once again be Simon Tyso. 16 seconds would be the gap after stage one, but it was of course far from over yet. And with the absence of Bob Gibbons from the entry this weekend, the category one win would be going to someone else here at round three, with Bob Beam taking the early advantage there over Paul Mankin in the other Cortina. Over stage two, there wouldn't be any change in the top of the results. Nick Elliott extends the advantage now to 29 seconds and would be sitting relatively comfortable going into the afternoon stages. Joe Price wasn't able to catch the leaders, but he was managing to edge out a small gap of his own now, the difference to Paul Barrett increasing from less than a second to just over 10 now. Stanley Orr still leads the way in Category 2, his advantage now growing to over a minute, and we see second place now being occupied by Warren Phyllis-Kirk. Bob Bean would also extend the advantage in Category 1, the gap still only 35 seconds, so there would be no backing off with two long stages to go. And indeed, that would be how it ended, keeping the pace up and taking his first category win of the season. Stanley Orr reaches the end of the event this weekend with the category win, making it three from three and proving to be the one to beat this season. He takes the victory over Simon Tyso, who manages to step back up to second place in the second half of the day. But the real change would come at the top of the results as Nick Elliott heads into the second half of the day with what should have been a comfortable lead, only for a mistake in stage three to put a very abrupt end to that challenge. So that meant all change at the top of the results. Matthew Robinson capitalises on the changes and moves up for his best finish in the Fiat, 30 seconds behind Paul Barrett, himself finally getting onto the podium this season with second place. But that means that it was the win here this weekend for Joe Price. He came for a podium and he couldn't have hoped for a better finish. The results this weekend certainly mixing up the championship as we get closer to the midpoint in the season. You can catch the official coverage from round three of the championship on Motors TV and online on the 13th of May. Keep an eye on ours and the championship's social media for more details.